Well, just do just do that coming out of the soul lady stuff. Because um, we have stop time. Um, anyway, so. yeah. lady, do you have it up the octave? Can we try that? For him? My mom, when I was upset as a little kid, would always say that cliche saying, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And it just got to be a mantra. But it ended up being a message that I carried with me for um, my whole life. And um, when life gives you lemons, you do make lemonade. The lemon tree you planted me, your love comes through the soil. She'll grow tall and stretch her arms, shady, happy, loving. Dapples of sunshine through her leaves, yellow gifts I'll happily squeeze. I grew up with the notion when life gives you lemons you go through the motion you make lemonade out of those small sour fruits they'll silence your words and pucker your tongue but they bring us this delight that's second to none and you compliment me like some sugar and salt but i'd be nothing without you there's something special about lemons well alone they're unpleasant as a friend they're compelling well i could be just as tart without you Oh, they're a lovely companion to something sweet And a comparable friend to a savory treat And you, you planted me a lemon tree I'll follow you wherever you go You know, I've been, I've been playing music since forever And I've always loved jazz I think jazz in its nature is the art of improvisation It's such a beautiful type of music it's just always growing, and so I feel like I can make a space for myself there. There's so much room to play. With this album, we had to stop ourselves, I think, from just going off the rails and improving for 10 minutes for each song. Riffing off of each other, hearing each other, and um, it was just, it was so organic. Well, I grew up with the notion when life gives you lemons, you go through the motion. You make lemonade out of those small sour fruits. Oh, they'll silence your words and pucker your tongue, but they bring us as a life that's second to none. And you compliment me like some sugar and salt, but I'll be nothing without you. There's something special about lemons, well alone. They're unpleasant as a friend, they're compelling. Well, I could be just as tart without you. Oh, they're a lovely companion to something sweet An incomparable friend to a savory treat And you, you planted me a lemon tree I follow you wherever you go And you, you planted me a lemon tree I follow you wherever you go That felt better, I feel like We can have a little more fun with it Yeah? Should we listen to it? Okay Okay. A vocalise is where you take an existing instrumental solo and you write lyrics over that solo. I think it's, it's often a place where a vocalist can kind of make a space for themselves where instrumentalists don't often see room. Vocalise in general just is such a good way of getting your heart to speak. There's so many opportunities for syllables that you have to fill up that your brain just fills them with what you really feel about things, which I think is really special. You were my favorite person, now I wonder if anything will ever be the same. I was your favorite person Now you fill me with regret You handled every dream I had And you let me down constantly treading reckless
I feigned the strength I was lacking so that you'd come back to me. You break my heart out of the blue and I am left alone. You break my heart, I beg of you to take me back. What do you do? You take my hand and you listen while I convince you of everything I changed to keep you. I take your hand and I know that you will never love me like I loved you. grandma on my mom's side was a, a Seattle darling. You know, she was a singer in the 50s. She was, she sang in the Seattle World's Fair. She sang with Overton Berry. She played at the Cloud Room. She was on a TV show and she had a couple recordings out on Billboard. But she lost her voice from nodes. So I always kind of felt like it was my responsibility to kind of live on for her. My dad is a, is a piano man. He taught me piano from when I was really little. He started playing on cruise ships um, in his 20s with his best friend. They had a bunch of standard songs that were in their repertoire. Still Crazy by Paul Simon was one of them, and I definitely wanted to have something of that era in the mix of the album. It's the music that made me grow up loving music. Kind of a nod to my childhood and my dad. It's just so grooving. It's got this, I don't know how to explain it but it just it evokes something in you, like making you want to be part of something. smiled and we talked about some old times and we drank our 
myself some beer Still crazy after all these years Oh, still crazy after all these years I'm not that kind of girl who tends to socialize Well, I seem to lean on all in my ear Still crazy after all these years Oh, still crazy after all these years Four in the morning Crapped out Yawning Long in my life It's all gonna After all these years Oh, still crazy After all these years Still crazy After all these years I grew up hearing my grandma's recordings all the time. Um, we had this, like a greatest hits CD. Um, she only had 10 or so songs, but um, we're finding more now. After doing the work um, for this album, I ended up learning a ton more that I never knew. And we unfortunately lost her before I really took an interest in 
my musical career and in hers. So I feel like now it's this mystery that I need to find out more about. There's these funny little connections um, that I'd really like to make. Um, as time passes, we start to lose some of those connections. My goal is to connect as much as I can to these people um, and learn from them, hear from them, so I don't make the same mistake as with my grandma and not getting to hear her story before we lost her. One day I'd hope to do more with her songs and her lyrics. It just means happiness to me. I think that music is the closest thing to magic that we have. We can take the heart out of that and see the soul of the lemon tree that is definitely doing well.